All right, today I'm gonna teach you that you can definitely do a pull up and we're gonna do this in five phases. 100%, I got you. The best equipment that you can use is one of these machines. You're gonna need a band for support or a coach, potentially a bench, and then you need a chin-up bar. All right, number one is using the machine. Now these machines at Fit Club, they go up to about 150 pounds. It's roughly a little bit less than that just because of all the pulley mechanisms, but the very first goal that you wanna do is be able to do 15 wide grip lat pull downs with the full stack. So your first attempt, if you're not doing the full stack, is to try and do the full stack and get yourself up to 15 reps. So we're gonna change this down here. I like to get in nice and close to the machine, okay? And then sit down, use your body weight. From there, you just pull it to your chest and you're going straight up and down exactly like you would on a chin up. So you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So a little bit lower on the, or slower on the raise phase here and then a little bit faster on the pull phase. Okay, when you're done, you just use the weight to get yourself up. That's phase number one. Phase number two, you can use one of these bands. We do have these at Fit Club. This is the extra thick band. So it's gonna be able to provide you with more of an assistance than the smaller band. So all you do is you just take it from the top and then you just loop it through to give yourself a little bit of leverage, okay? Now, if you can't get your foot in there, you're gonna need assistance from a bench or if you're strong enough, you can lock it into the knee or you can get your foot in there, right? So if to get your foot in there, you either need to bring this all the way down, which is very tough and it takes time, but it's actually a little bit easier to the chin up. What you wanna be able to do is reverse grip onto the, onto the bar here. Reverse grip is a lot easier than a wide grip chin up. The wide grip chin up is a full chin up and it's a lot more difficult to do. So all you do is just put your weight and you just pull yourself up and down, okay? And that band is gonna be able to provide you the buoyancy for yourself to be able to do those chin-ups. Just be careful getting off. So again, you might wanna use a riser to get your foot in there, or you can put your knee in there if you've got the strength. Same thing here, just make sure that that band doesn't hit you in the face, and then you're just gonna use that. When you're done, pull this out. Your goal with the banded assisted chin-ups is about 10 and 30 seconds. 10 and 30 seconds. The third one, now you've got 10 pull-ups with the band in 30 seconds. The third phase is to be able to do the reverse grip chin-up just by yourself. Now in this one, if you're not tall enough to be able to grab the bar just from a standing position, like I am, then grab yourself a bench to give yourself a little bit more leverage. But otherwise, your goal is to be able to do one to two self chin-ups in a matter of 30 seconds. Okay, now watch this. So you're gonna go up, jump, and just let yourself Lower, okay? Use your body weight up to jump and let yourself lower down, okay? If you can get more than one to two, up, push with your legs, and then focus on that eccentric. So focus on lowering yourself with body control. Now, if you can see me, I'm not swinging, right? So a lot of people, they kick their legs forward. What you wanna do is just go here, use a bench, and jump straight up, use your body, and use your arms, and then do a slow lower. So on that one, you're gonna focus on the lowering phase. Don't swing your knees forward and smash into the front of the machine. Use control, jump up, pull up at the same time, and then focus on that slow lower. That's phase number three. Phase number four is gonna do a full self reverse grip chin up. Remember the reverse grip is a lot easier than if you did the wide grip. The reason being here, you're able to involve more of your biceps. Here, you're almost eliminating the biceps and it gets more focus on the shoulders and the lats. Now what you wanna do is just aim for one to two and 30 seconds. Give yourself enough rest in between so that you can recharge and be able to do that chin up. So in this case, you can use a bench so that you're not fully straight arm, but a real chin up goes all the way down and all the way up. So you focus on that. Pull yourself up fast, lower yourself down slow, recharge, right? Look at the clock. See when it's about, you know, 15 to 10 seconds left. Then you can jump and do your second one. Okay, you're here, push yourself up, control your body, down nice and slow. If you can get two full chin ups like that, where you start from the ground, Give yourself a little bit of a boost, pull up, down nice and slow, 
Give yourself ample enough time to be able to recharge so that you can even just focus on getting one to two in 30 seconds. Now this might take you a couple weeks. It might even take you a couple months, but that's okay because slow progress is still progress. At least if you stay at it and you hit your targets, you're eventually gonna get there. Now the fifth and final is full self chin-ups. So full self chin-ups, your ultimate target is 10 reps in 30 seconds. So that's roughly one rep per every three seconds times 10 is 30 seconds. So the way it should look is you start here, one, touch two, touch three, touch four, touch. See my pace? Faster up, nice and slow on the way down. So your goal is to be able to work at that range. And that's the five phases that you can do a pull-up because 100%, I got you. We're starting with phase one, your first goal, full stack, 10 to 15 reps in 30 seconds. Phase two, you got the reverse grip chin-up with the band and your goal is 10 to 15 reps in 30 seconds around the knee or around the foot. Try either or, see which one works better for you. Phase three is being able to do the self chin-up with the boost, with the jump, but then you focus on that three second lower phase. Boost yourself up with your feet, jump up there, pull yourself straight up, three seconds on the way down. Number four is one to two self chin-ups. Starting from the ground, arms extended, give yourself a little bit of a boost to pull up, but ultimately that's all you. So it's up for one, down for two, one, two. Up for one, down for two. Your goal is just two. Give yourself enough time between reps to be able to recharge and that you'll be able to do it. And then phase five is 10 full self chin-ups in 30 seconds. 10 full self chin-ups in 30 seconds. Now, if you're looking for assistance on being able to do chin-ups and you need the proper coaching and you're not already a member, go to fitclub.fit, send us a message. We'll get you started today. If you are a member, feel free to ask your coach to be able to support you with your chin-ups, but we do have the green bands available at the gym, so you can be able to lock those in whenever we're doing lat pull-downs or straight arm pull-downs, or even if we're doing chin-ups at the gym, use the green band. And again, if you're building yourself up, don't be ashamed if you're only doing one to two reps. We're getting there, we're 1% better, we're working on progress, but our ultimate goal is 10 full chin-ups in 30 seconds. We'll see you on the blue.